or right now. Enough of that. A lot of, a lot of tinkering going on over there. Uh, I'm tidying. You're tidying. Yeah. Julie Klausner's here. How are you? Thank you for coming. Don't 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 you first of all, you you look like literally a million bucks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I always like to come here and see you. And I always like when you come here and see me. It's nice because you are the funniest. Thank you. Oh, it got quiet. I don't want that mu- the music. Is wow. this still the old music? It is the old I can't music. Tell the, what's the difference? The the newer one's a little more juiced. Got a little more muscle behind it. Okay. And you, you, you'll know it if you hear it. If you A-B'd it, you'd hear it. But what does that mean? You played one and then played the other, like A, A side, and B. B side? Yeah, like okay. you just did a comparative mm-hmm. listening to it. That's if you how compare you, them. Yes, if you compare them. I like how I'm talking in the audio <laughs> jargon. Let's A, B that and see if we can point out the differences. That's like the dumb stuff that like... Beatles. Oh, fans. that's what they like, say. Just like, well, if you AB these versions of uh, Penny, really? Penny Lane, you'll hear uh, the the French horn solo is different at the end. Because there's a version of Penny Lane where the French horn comes in at the end and it's like, because it's like Penny Lane. Like the version mm-hmm. everybody knows goes Penny Lane. And it's like, mm-hmm. like that feed, mm-hmm. the feedback there. But then there's like a, a one that was like, on like a single or something, mm-hmm. and it was like, Penny Lane. <laughs> and it's just like, well, the French horn comes back for that. Uh, very exciting. If you A-B it, you can't miss the <laughs> French horn reprise. If you A-B it, it won't help you enjoy no, anything mean, more or less. Yeah, or... It makes you, it'll make you generally a little mad at... Yeah, doesn't that, like that stuff? Does that ever increase like the pleasure that you get from listening to music? No, it just makes you more intense and worked up about things, and then you just end, invariably you, somebody just ends up frustrated or like angry that no one asked them their opinion on yeah. which they prefer. Yeah, because they're like, well, you know, the, the, the mono versions of these Beatles songs. People knew that the the White Album uh, version <laughs> of Helter Skelter is markedly different. Than it is on the thing. It's not just a mixing issue. It's are they going to put out a special like Manson version of the White Album? Now that that would passed? be. Well, I'll say this with Manson. Mm. Good riddance <gasps> to that that ninety nine year old. He got what he had come. He made it to like <laughs> death of natural yeah, causes. He of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> he married a twenty five year old star. Yeah, he married star. Survived by star. I'm concerned. Mm. You know what I'm concerned about? Mm. Zizo Z Zad Frack Clux. <laughs> I don't care. I could give a, a flying fig. whatever, you flying fig, a fig about Charles Manson. Mm-hmm. Good riddance to bad trash is what I say with him. I'm just concerned about Zizo Z <laughs> Zad Frack Clux. <laughs> is there some like weird creep that teaches that? song to kids instead of john jacob jingle irish schmidt helter but... skelter no oh Z. but with that name instead oh of, yeah it would be just like because wait for who was zizo z zadfrak glutz was one of the kids <laughs> <laughs> one of the manson babies like that was manson that was a great cartoon by the way remember manson babies <laughs> <laughs> and you never saw the nanny you just saw like Hairy calves and yeah. bare, dirty feet. Yeah, you just see the top of, uh, you just see the bottom of uh, like Spawn. Like... <laughs> of Spawn was creep. like, will you keep it down? Yeah. And Squeaky was like, lay off. <laughs> <laughs> On the cartoon, she should literally just be like, <laughs> like squeak. Yeah. Squeak. <laughs> Manson Bay. Yeah. Because. <laughs> Look, I've read a bunch of Manson books. You've read a bunch of Manson books. <laughs> yes, there was, there was a there was a streak going through yeah. our circle of friends where every, <laughs> where you were like when you were doing your I made your Spoonie sing, I made Spoonie sing, sing garbage dump. Yeah, you made Spoonie your producer <laughs> sing garbage dump. You 
<laughs> there was a when you're doing how was your week uh usually you'd have the guests in the studio in, in, in your apartment and right, you'd be sitting right. across from right, them right but i interviewed yeah. the guy who wrote that book yeah. from texas yeah and you like laid out you like you literally <laughs> like were just like whatever it costs <laughs> To patch this guy in on the highest quality <laughs> ISDN like, line. And then, of course, it's like the most like easy go. He sounded like like Mike Nesmith. He's like, how's it going, Julie? And I'm like, let's get into yeah. this. Yeah. We and only have an hour before I go broke. Yeah, because this is costing now, you $80 a now, minute. Let's start with these you, bikers. You paid, now, you paid lots for, of Papa. Yeah. Remember you, Lots of Papa? I forgot about Lots Never of Papa. Never forget about Lots of Papa. He was a Black Panther. He yeah. was a, oh, he was a heavy right. set guy. Mm -hmm. And his nickname meant that there was a lot, there was lots of, of Papa. Because Lots of Papa is the guy that Manson <laughs> just like, I killed him. And then he saw him in the hallway in the courtroom. <laughs> he punched him. He's like, what? And Lots of Papa like planted one. Yeah. And suddenly he's like, what's up, Charlie? <laughs> and Manson's like, I thought I killed Lots of Papa. <laughs> Lots of Papa's like, you didn't even make, I'm st I'm still Lots of Papa. Like, I'm not like some of Papa. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lots of Papa. <laughs> there, but, there was a point where, like, we all knew a lot about yeah. the Manson murders. Yeah. And then now when something like this happens and yeah. you're speaking to, like, someone that maybe, like, five years ago wasn't reading those, you know, that book, I Every, find people are a little surprised that you know a lot about it. Suddenly you're just like... Uh, yeah, you talk about, like, they'll, they'll be like, well, did you know there was a guy, uh, Tex Watson? It's like, <laughs> Tex Watson? I'm t I'm thinking about Screwhead. <laughs> Fuck, is it Bucket? No, what Thunderhead or, like... <laughs> what was his I name fuck? again? Chowderhead or, like... Yeah, there was the one guy who they just someone... had that they, like, made him, like, sweep up and stuff. <laughs> was, like... <laughs> was it, like, Jumblehead or something? <laughs> Charlie was like so bad at nicknames. He was like, "Yeah, was it Scramblehead?" It was Scramblehead. <laughs> you're Scramblehead. <laughs> you're, you're, and then somebody has a baby. It's just like this baby's name is Zzo Zz and <laughs> Frank Glutz. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, okay, because it was Sadie Mae Glutz, right? Right. And he's like, and she's like, oh, the baby is. A... <laughs> he's like. I'm going to name this baby. <laughs> and, wait, and everyone's like, ooh, everybody, come around, then, come around, come around. Charlie's, yeah. Charlie's going to name the baby. And he goes, <laughs> he looks at the baby and he goes, Zzo Zz at Frank Glutz. And then it's like, wait, that's not the baby's name. Is it Charles? That's the baby's name? He just had like a little the, seizure, yeah. right? The baby is or, named Zzo. Yeah. Zzo Zz at Frank Glutz. <laughs> Was there was one Manson girl whose name was Weech. It was like O U I C H. Oh, this guy. <sighs> he sucked. Oh, he, was, he was so talentless too. That's the other. That's oh, the, that's one of the so great bad things at music. in that book. Yeah, that you. I remember you. You 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 complimented the author of that book. What was that guy's name? Do you Jeff remember? Gwynn. Jeff Gwynn. Jeff Gwynn. He had written a book about Manson and showed how he kind of came up. And there was a thing where the guy never hesitated to just say like, oh, and he was talentless. Yeah. Like never yeah. forget this guy was like a completely talentless musician. He never who... missed an opportunity to like sort of contrast how many opportunities he did have and how close he was to actual people that could help him if only yeah. he had a modicum of talent. Yes. If, yeah, if he had a modicum of talent. He was truly at zero on the talent meter. Like if it was that talent arm, like the mm -hmm. like the crowd applause. Mm hmm Yeah. And like he didn't do like he never also didn't do like shows. He like he just wanted to like record Right, be with like, the girl those poor girls singing back up. Yeah. Look at your game girl. Yeah. Garbage dump. Girl, what's your game? Um what was the one that uh Dennis Wilson rewrote? Cease to exist. Yeah. Mike you ever read any of those books? I'm not a Manson fan either, yeah, Mike. I'm not fans We're not of it. fans of him. We're, yeah. we're not talking about like the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, that Mike was... Mike saw the Helter Skelter TV series, yes. is what he's saying. Yes. Pretty, 